Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Cassis Plays and today we are here with some more Arma Reforger. I'm playing my first uh, official single player mod, which is a mod to assassinate General Makarov. Yes, that is exactly who you think it is. Uh, you've been tasked with the sneaking onto the island and taking out General Makarov. It's rumored to he likes to take early morning walks on the beach. So, with that, let's go ahead and uh, give this a try. Uh, if you do enjoy this video, definitely leave a like on it. And let me know if you're enjoying these Arma Let's Plays. Uh, I believe that most of you are because uh, it seems to be one of the best uh, series I've done in quite a while. So, here we are. It really drops you right in. Uh, it lets you select a class, it seems like. And I selected the one that has the uh, sniper rifle. The other one, I believe, had like just an M16. I'd want you to cross this bridge, but it doesn't really look like the bridge is uh, working that well. <laughs> so I have not played this. I did test it just to like load into it, and that's as far as I got. Climb the mountains. Move up the mountain and find a suitable shooting spot. So of course this is still like uh, very much a test demo. Um, there's more scenarios and mods starting to show up on the Arma Reforger workshop. So it's it's cool to see. Every once in a while I've been uh, logging in literally just to see, okay, what's the top mod that everybody's playing or trying. I did try a PVE mod a little bit earlier today, but it didn't have any AI. Um, so I ended up kind of just stopping there. But I do want to see if, honestly, like, I can try finding a PvE mod that has an AI. Or, honestly, if anybody has, like, any suggestions, if you've been playing Arma, and you're like, hey, check out this mod. Like, I don't have time or yada yada, then I will do my best to check it out as well. Once I... Uh, once a ton of mods start showing up, then I'll honestly probably have to uh, change the title of some of these Let's Plays and change it to Armor Forger, blah, 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 insert mod title. So that way people actually know, okay, like this one, he played this mod, this one, he played that mod. Okay, cool. So we have checkpoints. It's probably the most advanced one I've seen. I mean, honestly, I haven't really tried a ton of them yet. But it's still cool to see. About 400 meters out. My last video, if you uh, did check it out or didn't check it out, I did a. I joined a game master server with Soldier Pat, which is one of the the guys that I've been playing with a whole lot, uh, Pat. And it actually, you know, the first 30 minutes or so, I was setting up the whole scenario setting an objective and everything i love how simple they make it i mean i've set up things in uh armor 3 zeus before when we used to do community nights uh, for our rebel which is discord.gg slash rebel by the way hopefully once uh armor 4 is out or maybe in the future we'll start seeing a resurgence oh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Where did you come from? Damn, they are like pushing me. Also, why is the road turning yellow like that? Oh no. Wait, so what happens if you die? Uh, do you spawn at the checkpoint maybe? And I don't know if I said, why is the road turning yellow? Maybe, oh God. Flash warning, flash warning, <laughs> respawn. Um, There we go, okay. Yep, so it does, okay, that's cool. So it drops a checkpoint for you. See, like this is very, very basic obviously, but in the future, if once like AI are working, I can see some really, really cool stuff. 
where you're like infiltrating with that a squad and you're going in um I forget what I was saying before all this though oh I didn't realize we have an M16 oh. We got those guys. All right, nobody's here. Yeah, the road, whenever I was zooming in, the road was like turning green, not yellow. I don't know if I said yellow or green. Yeah, with this rifle. It's outside the scope. That is interesting. Look at that. Okay. Huh. But anyways, I lost my train of thought back there. Oh, so... I mean, if there are any mods with AI out there, then I could always try them. Uh, but like I said, like last episode, we did a, we created our own scenario before we got disconnected. And then once we got disconnected, I was like, okay, like that's good. Uh, we were in there for about like an hour though. I think the video ended up being like 58 minutes or so. And then of course, while we were in the, in the thick of it, uh, we got disconnected. I might still try, I haven't done so. Uh, since that video, but I might still try to see if I can uh, set up like a virtual server and then set up my own armor server, but That I have to uh, I know it's not too in-depth. It's it's actually fairly easy um, But I would have to look a little bit more into actually getting that set up and installing things but it could be a, a future thing, maybe like a Friday night or something. If, if I make like a community post or whatever, hey guys, uh, anyone that has the game, like we're gonna do an Arma server. If you'd like to join, feel free. If not, it's all good. You can watch the video or whatever the case may be. Uh, locate and kill General Makarov. Rumor has it he likes to take walks on the beach. Okay, here we go. But yeah, I, I could also just really set another, uh, set up another game master scenario and leave it as like solo, um, for days that the multiplayer is not working or I can't get into a match. Um, cause I feel like you'd, you'd be able to make a lot more all out wars with AI. It's fairly easy to, to have them go straight to the objective and search and destroy and all of that. So they said, apparently he likes to walk on the beach. Oh, there he is. We found him. We found him. I should have looked there for, uh, first. All right, I've been playing Sniper Elite 5 for the last few days. Let's see if it translates to this game. Let's see. There he is. Oh, God. This is a long distance. There it is. Only took a ton of shots. Good job, soldier. Now get to the extraction point before all hell breaks loose. Where's the extraction? General Makarov has been taken out. Let's go. Now let me switch back to this thing. Apparently, if you double tap V, is it V? Maybe not. Um. You can use the grenade launcher. Uh, Soldier Pat was telling me about it. 
But if I press V, like I'm like triple tapping V. Doesn't seem, unless we don't have any uh, grenades to launch. All right, I'm gonna go through the field here because it's probably gonna be a little bit faster. But yeah, it's cool to see what people have been, uh, they're trying to call you off, off from your extract. Uh oh. Uh oh. Any second, I'm going to see people showing up on the road. Move, move, move. I'll definitely, uh, since we're only 10 minutes into the video, I'll still, oh God, oh God. See a vehicle over there. I hope there's none to the right. Reload. This AI. I swear, the, the one person that actually does shoot, yep, is going to kill me. I knew it. I knew it. The one person that actually does shoot, none of them were firing. <laughs> Ice. Okay. Target that man. Target that man. God, I don't know why it does that. Flickers so much when you die. Uh, get to the extraction point. I'm going to try going here then. That might be closer. Yeah, that's a little bit. But yeah, regardless, I, I'm so excited for the future of Arma. Just with, I mean, honestly, even this game. Um, or this scenario. And how, how good it runs. It's very, very, very basic. Uh, two videos ago, we did play Rush in a multiplayer game scenario mode or like on a server and that was pretty good um it, it did have a little bit of performance issues so it wasn't perfect but it was still cool to to kind of see something like that implemented in an arma game and regardless i mean it it worked for what it was at, at its base form and it was very action packed. Like we were not far from the objective. So when you did get to it, it was quick. Mission success. General Makarov is dead. Thanks for playing. Thanks for creating it. And there it is. Exit to the main menu. I'll see what other scenarios I have right here. Um, I might as well just keep it rolling. So, uh, it, as you can see, I did try this one, this, that didn't have any um, AI in it, so it kind of was pretty quick. But uh, I'm starting to build up uh, on whatever mods that I see. There's one right here, Hometown Defenders. And then the only problem is I don't want to jump into one of these and spend 20 minutes of it not working. Um, but... Operation Blue Light, that one seems pretty cool. Has up to three players. Out of reality. Let's see. All right, let's see if we can get into one of these. All right, so we are back into one of these. Um, I decided not to, to try, oh, well. <laughs> Don't tell me. Yeah, connection timed out. All right, well, that was literally... See, this is why I don't spend too much time like trying to find a server because we just got disconnected. I joined this one. 
And it wasn't that long after uh, me pausing the the video. So let's try this one. I mean, hopefully we get in pretty quick. If not, honestly, I, I might just create my own scenario and just load up a Game Master solo and kind of mess around with it. You can take over the characters that you spawn into, so it's definitely a possibility. All right, let's go ahead and uh, Soviet Army has more, so we'll join these guys. I'll join the group that has six out of eight. Now seven out of eight. And let's see what we got. Like we got somebody going for uh, Kentucky over here. All right, I'm going to try spawning on a uh, mega bomb. Apparently it didn't like that. It still doesn't like that. All right, let's go to Illinois or oh my God, what the hell? Come on, guys. Anything? And nice. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can set up something. Okay, we are back in here now in uh, Game Master solo mode. So if you guys want to skip ahead uh, for this area where I'm going to set up a little scenario, feel free to do so. Uh, but I'm going to try to set up a little something and maybe we'll leave this as like an ongoing campaign or something. So let's go ahead and get this part started. I think we're going to make this our base. Miyaksu. Uh that's probably not how you say it, but I'm not sh I'm not sure anyway, so whatever. Uh all right, so we got a small slot right here. Let's go ahead and place something. Uh so how do I want to lay this out? We'll go ahead and put a uh, checkpoint here. I am going to be part of the U.S. team, or at least have my people be part of the U.S. team. Uh, and then I'm not sure what objective we'll go towards, but we'll, we'll figure it out. For now, we're going to set up little areas. Whoops, what was that? What did I just place, place down? I double-clicked it. Put down a... Ammunition. Even though this is over by the harbor. Give me a small living quarters. I don't know if uh, the small living quarters becomes a... Uh, respawn point or not. Spawn near a radio operator. Sure. Time and day. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it as this. Time progression. Uh, I'm going to make the multiplier a little bit more... Adjust the speed that time progresses in game. Currently, an hour in game, it takes 20 minutes. Really? Oh, time progression. I thought it was. Never mind. <laughs> Make it sunny. Nice and clear. Clear weather for the day. Good day to battle. Go to war. Okay, so we have a lot of small points. That's the only thing. Uh, unless... Yeah, we could make a little village right here. Or large living quarters. There we go. I'll put a medium field hospital. Okay. Right here, we'll put a small radio tower. I don't know if that makes it a spawn point. So say if I want to spawn in, I believe if I press, where is it? Maybe it doesn't. I mean, honestly, it do technically it doesn't matter, but, Oh, loadout. 
There we go. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't make one. I know some of the objectives do, um, and you can actually see it, which I forgot to check. But it's going to keep giving me a bunch of tips here. I will make a spawn point right there then. So let's go US spawn point. If it has this little icon, like the arrow, then that means you will have a a spawn point for that. Uh, now, hold on. One thing I want to have close is, I keep forgetting that you can place down objects or buildings even without it being there. Without the circle being there. So I'm going to set down a repair point right, uh, right here. Yes. Then we will place a small command post right here. Ammunition supply right there. So we got our little base uh, ammos there. Man post is there, got some health there, and then vehicles will be able to spawn in right here. I believe if you walk up to one of the signs too. Uh, but yeah, I was, like I was saying, I keep thinking that you have to place it in one of these little boxes that show up. But no, you can literally press tab, select small bunker. I can place this right here and then boom, boom, boom. Those spots as well. You could also just drag it right there drop it in which is cool but for now let's go ahead and set up firing positions right here this is going to be our little town i'll set up a living quarters right there even though that's kind of a weird spot for one a nest small bunker right here will be a little vehicle post so that way we have one uh, we'll make a construction site, even though I don't, I'm not sure how the construction sites really work for in game master mode. Yeah. So this one, you could set a small spawn base and then uh, it seems like the radio post is also a spawn, uh, area. Make a smart firing position. And I can always change these later on if I really want to, or if I, Think of something. And finally, a small bunker. Okay. That way, this area is a little bit filled out. Uh, right here, I'm going to leave this one. I'm actually going to get rid of this. Can I drag and drop? Let's see. Yes, you can. Okay, that's cool. So I made that the vehicle repair area. Instead, I'm going to put a fuel supply post right here so that way it's kind of like a little fueling and repair area if need be all right so now that we've got the structures down let's put some infantry down so we'll put this squad first i will put down a machine squad machine gunner squad set them to i don't know if they'll get into the gunner positions, let's find out. They might, they might. I think they'll get into the general vicinity. Order AI to enter in the nearest available vehicle and occupy passengers or gunner positions. The unit will be completed once all units have found a position and mounted or every vehicle is occupied. So they won't actually enter anything but they will sit there and uh be close to it uh, i'm also going to put one here right there set both of these guys and you know what we'll put one right over here now majority of them they'll sit there 
And if you don't do any actions, they will sit and defend as long as they are not ordered to, to move anywhere. So for those guys, I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to have two infantry units that will defend actually three so we'll do the these guys we're gonna have them move relaxed along the road uh wait why is it not ah it, it was taking all those it just showed very small icons. And actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to have this group go this route. Now the problem is, I don't know if there's a way you can uh, set that to like loop. I know in former Arma games you could, but I'm not sure if you can now. But these guys will at least walk around. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I'm gonna try not to spend too much time setting up all these we relax search and destroy uh we'll have these guys move right here actually let's defend this area i'll drop in a small like team here and you guys defend over here I don't know if you set them to defend an objective, if they'll like walk around. Oh, okay, nice. So this guy's actually taking cover behind the ammunition. And there's also these guys over here. Hey, look at that, he, he actually took up the mg so okay defend does it say that actually if you select defend ai to defend a given area this order will never auto complete as a unit will take up a position stay in city okay move relax the order will be completed once the leader reaches the intended destination uh move defend get in okay So now that we have all of this, is there like actually a large vehicle? Uh, vehicle. Repair point? Or is there only small? It might only be small ones. Okay, well I'm gonna place down a few vehicles here then. We'll have three there. Drop some armor vehicles. Over on this side, we'll throw down the MG ones. And the way I'm spawning them like this is I'm pressing and holding left control. For anybody that doesn't know. Uh, if you hold left control, then it lets you spawn the same thing multiple times, basically. Well, in a transport truck. Uh, was that a correct one? Yeah, I think so. It still says vehicle though. Uh, yeah, it was. Just two different kinds. Command truck. Drop in one there. What type of large, large living quarters, camouflage net, okay. 
this is also kind of like a test trial to see how this this goes do we save do we have a saving save camera parameters okay looking pretty good i'd say All right i think so okay so now that that part is set up we're gonna since we're not too far off from this and i don't want to spend like us traveling half or halfway across the world i'm going to set our objective to be right here we're going for the we're going to secure the airport so that's what the mission will be securing the airport we'll see how that goes and it's going to be like an all-out war from here until there and it's not too far off so i'm right there airports right here we'll have like this area being the area that we're going to try to secure so i think i'm going to set up the enemies uh territory first so that way we can at least have one part set up and then after the enemy's territory is set up we will uh, get moving on setting up our little positions small bunker firing position put a repair point and a fuel point put down a bunch of checkpoints here Firing position. And I really like how they automatically like have some of these areas set up like this. Medium hospital. Ammunition. We'll do fuel. And try to like speed run this to be honest. Small command post. Okay. Supply point. Field hospital. Ammunition, vehicle, ammunition, team hospital, ammunition, fuel, vehicle, large, medium, firing position. Firing position, checkpoint, checkpoint, a lot of checkpoints. <laughs> Set up a little area here too. Oh, are we out of? Max budget has been reached. Wait, is that like total? AI budget. Uh, budget for controlled, it's this budget for respawn points, objectives, and arsenals. Object budget. Okay. So you can actually, I didn't know that there was a limit to it. Well, now we know that. Um, let me see if I can set up C's objective. So our objective will be to seize military. And also, we'll set up another seize objective at the church right there. I don't think I can. Okay, yeah, I can. Put down one more. I think you can still spawn in, like, maybe not. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, it's weird. They they actually put a limit on that. I don't think there was ever one before, but that's okay. I guess maybe it's to like not overload the entire map. I mean, we still have what? We're only at 15% for the AI budget and 36 for vehicle budget. So Okay, so over on the here, we're going to go for vehicles. So let's see what we got. Put down one of these. These. 
man truck will be all the way in the back. Off road. I'm gonna set up a bunch of these. Which way is it facing? No, other way. There's four, and then we'll put up a transport truck. Two of those, and one of these, maybe two of those. And two fuel trucks. Boom. And it's kind of just for looks, I guess you could say. Not like a, a huge impact. For setting up these vehicles um it's unfortunate because i i really don't think there's a way you can get the characters or the ai to get inside the vehicle but unfortunately i don't believe there's a way to have them drive yet at the time of creating this you cannot yet Okay, now we are going to have these guys basically defend. Unable to place max budget. Is that for this? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, well, we are going to have to get rid of some of these then. Which is fine. I mean, honestly, there's a few checkpoints on the road that we don't really need. What are we doing now? 96. Uh, let me move this objective to right here. We'll get rid of that. That. It's probably like one or two groups I can get rid of here. Yeah. Have this group defend the, actually go ahead and defend this. 95, okay. Another infantry squad. Machine gun there. Some of these guys will just hang out, to be honest, because setting up uh, like markers for where they're walk to walk from. Uh, if there was a way to loop it, I don't know if there is. There might be a way to loop things. Uh, let's see if I can. Uh, here, I'm, I'm going to try it. So. That's fine. Okay, yeah. So that'll even make it. Nah. Get rid of that completely. Yeah, you can't really do that because every one of those have them walk objectives will actually take over. Uh, your thing. So, okay. Make a small firing position, and then I'm going to have these guys defend that. 97%. Okay. Get rid of that. 
I will leave that large factory up. Have these guys defend that. 97. Now what we need is, is we'll need enough space to be able to order my guys to make our way there. So here is what I'm going to do now. We're going to start our siege to St. Philip and then the airport. So in order to do that, there's a few things we'll have to place. Yeah, see, these guys already finished their uh, their walk. All right, I'm going to have him go right there and then right there. Are they going to run there? That's the question. Yes. Cancel that order. Cancel that order. Set move order. So what happens if I take across take control of this squad. Will they keep moving? They will. Oh, see? Points? I just found that out. Okay, they'll follow me. Sweet. Okay, I did not know that. So that is good to know. I did not know that they'll actually follow you. All right, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to make one giant group of people and they will then follow me. That guy is still pointing. <laughs> Let's go machine gunner team. And we're going to go light infantry team. Grab all these guys and then create new AI group. Okay. And this guy is the squad lead. Where is he going? Okay, put your... Put your finger away, sir. Oh God, I can't stop pointing. All right, well, he's been obliterated now. Who's the new squad lead? Squad lead. Characters. Snap to terrain, take control, resupply, start bleeding, cast light lightning, neutralize properties. Let me start fresh. All right, we'll go infantry squad. Do we have a machine gunner? Yes, we do. And one person, automatic rifleman, AI state idle, idle. What happens if I take control of this guy? Will they follow me from here? Or do you have to be the squad lead? Yeah, you might have to be squad lead. See, I wish I could pr promote this guy to squad lead. but I'm not sure if that's a thing yet.
double tap for properties. Yeah, when we have all of that, not many options we have inside of this. Automatic Rifleman. I add in a little team behind it. And another little anti-tank team. Okay, this is what we got. Create new AI group. Is this guy squad lead? Yes, he is. I'm going to attempt this. We're going to try using a transport vehicle. Uh, transport truck. Get in to this. This group right here is the one that I will be taking over. This one is going to be straight AI. Because I don't think they can drive yet. They don't, none of them have their license, okay? All right. This group. Let the siege begin. This group will go up to this area and secure that. Uh oh are they still trying to get into the truck come on guys get in maybe they can't about right, over here Okay, let's try this again. This group, go secure that. Uh, they don't want to complete their orders. Okay, that one they completed. How about that? A lot of search and destroy objectives over here. Maybe they'll do that. Will they move relaxed? Yes, that one they'll do. Okay. I wish you could make the objective larger. Okay. Those guys will go towards our main objective, and I think maybe they're not getting into the vehicles because there's so many of them. Where's squad lead? Squad lead right here. All right, will you guys follow me if I go this way? Maybe not. Maybe it's this guy then. Yes, it is. Okay, it's the man at the front. All right, let's get moving. Let's see. Maybe if I hop into a vehicle, they'll hop. They'll follow me. 
All right, so at 49 minutes, we are starting the siege. Let's see how this goes here. Can I order them to get in? Let me see if I can order them to get in. Controls. Common equipment, character, vehicle. Game master, place AI, open entity, browser, destroy entity. I hear shots. All right, looks like we're walking, boys. <laughs> we are walking. Let's move, let's move. Seize the factory. Now the fun part is actually getting all the way up there. Very good. Whoops. I didn't mean to ping. Oh God, look at those. See, this is why I didn't make it too far, because holy crap, we're already running so far. Move, move, move. Oh, they're all going off the path. All right, they're going their own way. I'm going to spawn in a vehicle to get up to the front lines. Okay, I'm going to spawn in a tiny team, a uh, little machine gun team. Get in the vehicle. I'm taking over this guy. All right, they won't listen to anything. Moving up. Move, move, move. That's the whole squad that I was with. All right, we're pulling up right behind him. Hop out. What we got going on, Anderson? Sir, we're taking a lot of fire. I've lost two men already. You got it, Anderson. I'm going in. Reloading. Ah, 
hostile down. Hostile down. Anderson. Oh no, your men, they're down. Anderson, I need you to stick with me, man. I need you to stick with me. Gotta take this town. We want to get back home. We need that base. Moving up. Oh god, I'm getting shot from the left and the right. P, team leader actual one. They are still moving up. Good for them. All right. Good, good. Let's see what we got here. I have them search and destroy. And it looks like they're starting to get low on numbers. So I'm going to spawn in a nice infantry squad right there. And we'll go one more. Oh, wait, that's friendly. <laughs> They'll be busy from that. You can kind of see which ones are taking fire and which ones aren't. Uh, where was is this Anderson? This might be Anderson. I'm going to take over him. All right, Lewis, Reed, Anderson, number two. Let's go. Let's move up. Michael Jackson. Hey, good to see you. I don't even know where people are, are firing at. Move, move, move. I think one of the problems is when you spawn in AI, they don't really like follow your orders. Um, once they get into a firefight, they just drop and they don't stay moving with you. Uh, which in Arma 3, of course, uh, which is a completely different engine, they do at least try to stick with you. And you can also tell them, okay, stay here, move up. All of that fun stuff. Oh god. No. Still got some left. Size three. Size three. Fifteen. Size one, he's the only one left. Okay, they're moving up. They are moving up. That's good. That is a good sign. Let's see who wins this. Oh, they just ran right past each other. He's getting ba he's bandaging himself. He's getting shot at. This guy is really moving up. Oh, he just noticed him. Nice, nice, good job. Who's this guy? Automatic rifleman. I'm gonna go in as him. All right, let's move up. Hey, Reed, it's Reed again. Right there. Got him. All right, let's keep moving up. We are dropping a little bit of frames. There's a lot of fireworks going off, though. That's for sure. We're still moving up. Michael Jackson, Joseph Williams, Joseph Cobb. Oh, no. 
All right, P. All right, we're going back in. No, you were like a brother to me, man. What a death. Uh, Sal. Oh no. Oh God. Oh God. It's going to be a massacre. Oh no. I'm injured. Target that man. Squad. Target that man. Wait, is he still alive? I think he's bandaging himself. His body is still moving. Cure the objective. Christopher Clark. Ryan Turner. Nice. Factory seized. We got it, boys. We got it. And we still got a good remainder of uh, people left here. Look at that. Ryan Turner. Edward Anderson. Charlie Taylor. Michael Jackson. Mark Smith. Ted Davis. Christopher Clark, Charlie Smith, David Lee, Ted Davis, Edward Reed. Beautiful. You guys make me proud. Make me real proud. And with that, I'm actually going to end this episode here because we just hit that one hour mark, uh, which is pretty long for most episodes. So for now, if you guys did enjoy this Let's Play, definitely leave a like on it. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you see any scenarios or anything you want me to try out uh, or test whether they're good or bad, let me know. I'll try jumping into them. Uh, for now, that's going to be it for me. Next episode, we'll probably continue with this. Um, I'll probably add some reinforcements and try some other stuff when we get over to the airport. And then we'll uh, we'll take it from there and see how things go. So thank you guys as always. I will see you as in the next one. And for now, have a good one.